Hey, Dan, uh, thanks for the tweet, and, and sorry it took me so long to get back. It's been a crazy week. Uh, really good question on the, uh, the the last retracement in the S&P. So you were talking about 764. Um, I use a 786, and I'll kind of and I'll kind of tell you why before we jump into that quick. Like, but whatever, 786, 764, they're both really, really, you know, very important. So all time high in the S and P, down to the you know the 22 lows. You know, if you don't hold the 618 retracement, which is right here, that was at 4281. Um, you know, you're probably going up to that 78% or 76%, whatever you use. And if you don't hold that as resistance, more times than not, you're not only going into highs, you're going to break through uh, to the extension, right? And I use 786. And the reason that I do is it's based on Elliott Wave, uh, which Elliott Wave, all waves are based on, you know, Fibonacci, right? There's, you know, either one, three, five, seven, nine, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four waves within a, a motive or a correction. And it's all Fibonacci numbers. Um, but we, you know, we find that the the square roots of your Fibonacci numbers work really well. So six one eight square root. Uh, where's my square root? Somewhere in here. Should be there. Am I going crazy? Yeah. Uh, 786. So you take 0.618 and square root at 0.786 or 1.618. Square root is 1272. So you know what I find is um, when you break through the 618 retracement, you're probably you know whether it's a stop run move or you know whatever. If it's some kind of undercovering, uncovering the natural order of the market, you're probably going up to 786. And if you don't hold 786, I find that you go to the 1272. And again, those are both square roots of 0.618 and 1.618, right? And then, you know, if you don't hold 1272, you're probably going up to the 1618 extension, which is way up here. So, you know, I'm going way more than you you asked for, but, you know, once you get through 61% retracement, 78% retracement, then you get to the old highs, that's when you go from retracement territory to what we call extension territory, right? And then that's where you start getting the upside. So you're just measuring the depth of the prior correction, which I think 20, 2022 sell-off was a, you know, was a, um, a correction, okay? And then uh, you're probably going with the 1618. I have to get another screen and pull that 1618 in. It, you know, a good example of that is right here, this little drop here from um, uh, June of 22, you moved up, you know, just a little retracement, tried to hold 618 retracement, bounced there, quickly, didn't hold the second time, pierced right through 786, which that's a pretty good sign. And then we went down to the 1272 and that wound up more or less being the lows. And then we went up. That even, that even might be a 786 retracement right there. I'm not, I don't remember actually. Uh, that was a rare occasion where we did kind of break through the 786, but we also we, we ultimately went up and went broke. So probably a lot more than you, you asked for. Um, and the NDX is actually at the 786 as well. Um, so it's so cool, the S&P and the NASDAQ, even with the, S the NASDAQ being stronger uh, at that 786, uh, we're through it at this point. So you know, you're gonna be reaching for the 1272, um, you know, and I think that's a very likely scenario. So 786 was broken, I don't, usually, usually 888. There's your double top. That's a minor fib. And then 1272, 19K in the NASDAQ. All right, man. Hope that helps. Guys, have a great weekend. And um, catch you all next week.